Special counsel Robert Mueller is now investigating Democratic lobbyist Tony Podesta in his widespread Russia probe. Mueller and his team are trying to determine if Podesta's lobbying firm was in violation of the Foreign Agents Registration Act surrounding its work with Ukraine. This, according to NBC News, remember Tony, of course, is the brother of John Podesta, the former Clinton campaign chair. Here now is Fred Barnes, Weekly Standard executive editor. What do you make of this group of facts? Well, uh, yeah, there are a couple of things. One, of course, uh, Mueller is going to go wherever he wants to. Doesn't make any yeah. difference whether he started and was going to look into possible collusion between some people at the uh, at the Trump campaign and and Russians. Now they're going to get into all the Clinton people, and and there are a lot of connections. It's not, it's not just Tony Podesta, and of course you can say, well, Tony Podesta, this was just a Ukrainian group that uh, that he was helping uh, improve its image. It's a Ukrainian group that was pro-Russian and, and, according to NBC, financed by the Russian oligarch. So uh, I think some of these uh, uh, firms like the Podesta Group are now knee-deep in it, and it's, it's going to expand. So knee-deep in it. I mean, what does that mean? Because as we look through all of this, you, start, you sort of start to get this picture that there are Russians hiring Americans to help them with all kinds of things, you know, whether yes. it's lobbying, mm -hmm. improving mm -hmm. their image, trying to make connections yeah. in mm -hmm. Washington. <laughs> that one way or the other, almost everybody has done something at one point in time. It's starting to feel like that. Is that inherently wrong? No, I think that I think it's inherently right. That but that, is it unlawful? <laughs> is it inherent? Is it is it immoral? Is it unlawful? Is like where's the law in all of this? Well, the law in this can be a minor one, and that is well, they didn't register. They didn't disclose that they were uh, working for this uh, Ukrainian group, nominally Ukrainian group, uh, and that's a pretty. You know, you can be sent uh, to jail for five years, but nobody is, and those and those non-disclosure th violations are rarely even prosecuted. Uh, so that's the small part. The big part is there has been uh, this network of of uh, Clinton people, the Clinton Foundations involved, and all these all these Russians. Even uh, John Podesta was involved in a a, a group that, with uh, uh, I believe it was a. A, a mining company or an energy company, an energy company, yeah. uh, and there were senior Russian government officials on the board with him. But, there are but just so all these connections that have been ignored. Here's the point, Melissa. Okay. They've been ignored with all this emphasis on Trump and Russia. Yeah. These ones with Clinton and Russia, uh, the Clintons. Uh, I think are now going to be looked into. So heavily. those are there, and you put that on top of the issues with Paul Manafort and Mike Flynn, and yeah. sort of everybody's working for the Russians. And and and, yeah. and what is what do we conclude out of that? That this is all bad. That we have to stop everybody from doing it. That they're influencing our democracy from every different side, and we need to put up our guard. I mean, I'm wondering for people out there, they're wondering if everybody's taking money from Russia and everyone's doing it. What's what's the downside? What am I supposed to be looking out for and upset about? Well, uh, the downside is, uh, for instance, with this effort that was it, it, after the reset, remember Hillary Clinton and the reset, we're yeah. going to have great relations with Russia and we're going to help them build their Silicon Valley. Well, through that, uh, the Russians got all sorts of uh, uh, dual use technology. And you know mm -hmm. what that means? military technology that they get. I mean, there's so many aspects of this that can be looked into uh, that are in, and, and there are, look, yeah. it was a policy, uh, and I think it's still basically, well, maybe not under Trump, but it certainly was under Obama, that we're going to have better relations. We're going to send businessmen over there. We're yeah. going to deal with Russian companies and so on, but there is a downside, yeah. and, now that, and now that's what we're seeing. Well, whatever we do, we don't want to sell them 20% of our uranium supply. That would be a disaster. Uh, there, Let's no not do that. No excuse for that. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Fred Barnes, thank you so much.